Hi guys, my name is Dimitri Marvinides, owner of Epic Kites, and today's video is going to be about the new Transporter Golf Bag V3. We had an amazing experience with the V1 and V2, and because of all your inputs, we're able to come up with something even better than the V3. For example, you know, we have we added big wheels, bigger wheels than the previous one, and also um, the construction made it even stronger. And trying to stay in the weight limit, so it's very hard to make it stronger and still staying light. So we try to compensate on both of them and try to keep it, you know, so because of the airlines, you know, so we have to work with these guys. You know, some airlines allows you 50 pounds, some other ones allow you 70 pounds and that's the reason also why on this bag I have also epic media house media because some airlines also will help you or will give you a break if you carry media equipment okay so that's one way we're always trying to work with the airlines as you can see so anyway the new uh, transporter golf bag v3 again comes uh, in two pieces okay but it's sold in one complete uh, and the reason I do this is because uh, it's easier to carry. So when you're going to the beach or when you, uh, you're know, traveling at the airport carrying the bag, so you don't have to carry two bags with you. You can put all of them together, you know, you clip them and then you have a new shoulder strap on it. So the other two hands can be free to carry or being on the mat or looking or talking on the phone. So all you have to do is drag the two bags with you. Okay, so the new strap that we added that goes, that clips on the main mother bag, which has the wheels, is the one that will carry everything. Okay, so that's a one new feature that we did. And also about the new uh, big wheels, so you can go, you know, over everything. Uh, so you have the new wheels. Um, but again, on these bags also, on the inside, we added different compartments, many more compartments. Um, for example, let's go with the, um, with the main mother bag, which is the one with the wheels, which is the one at the bottom here. So in length, this one is um, 150 centimeters in, in length, okay? But then right here, you have an extension. If you open the zipper, there's a tongue that comes out, which is padded, and it's 35 centimeters longer. So if you have a board or a surfboard that is 180 centimeters, it can go in no problem, you know? So if it's 150 centimeters, you're all set. You don't need the extension. But also, if you don't need the extension, then you can use that pocket to store things like, uh, you know, screwdrivers, hammers, glues, you know, or a special compartment that no one will find. You can even put your wallet there because it's hard to find, okay? So uh, that's a special thing that we did for uh, this year on the motherboard, okay? Also, uh, like I said, it's a 150, okay? Now, if you open and you will remove the extension, it becomes 185 centimeters, okay? But you can find all these information specs in the uh, website under the Transporter uh, Golf Bag V3. And it's uh, 49 centimeters in width and 30 centimeters in height, okay? So you can put a lot of stuff, okay? Um, now the and then also on the mother bag also you have different pockets on the side so you can put if you fold you can put your mask there you know uh to protect it so it's protected and then you have also when you open the bag or the mother you have a mesh bag that you can put also stuff uh, and in the middle of the mother bag you have also a separator a thicker uh, pad okay so you can separate so you can put uh, your surfboard and then you twin tip board on top of it or okay? kite so it's all protected okay so that's the mother bag then we come to the uh, second bag, which is on top, okay, this one has no wheels, it's a little bit lighter, but it's longer, a little bit longer, so it's like 157 centimeters instead of 150 centimeters, okay, so it's a little bit longer, but it's not as, uh, it's like only 20 centimeters high, okay, uh, and in width is 47 centimeters in width, so it's a little bit smaller, but it's longer, okay, so this is the uh, second bag that attaches to the mother bag. And uh, inside there you have pockets too, but you have less pockets than the mother bag, so it makes it light. So depending how you're gonna travel now, okay? So if you just wanna take a one twin tip, pump, a bar, harness, and two kites, then all you need is the, uh, the top bag, okay? The second bag, okay? Uh, so, but if you're gonna <laughs> bring lots of kites, and I mean, you can bring tons of equipment, but I don't know if the airline's gonna let you check in. Uh, they will let you, but they're gonna charge you. So you have to stay between 50 to 70 pounds in it. So this is why it's very good to use these two bags together. So you can separate the weight, okay? And when you go and check in at the airlines, you can check if it's everything is under 50, check these, these two bags as one. Okay, now if it's uh, 50 pounds and 49 pounds, the bottom one, then and clip them and check them as two pieces, okay? Uh, in some companies, airlines, you might be charged for one piece, okay? And depending how you fly, uh, and you might not be charged, depending, you know, on the airlines. So anyway, now uh, the good thing about the, um, the new 
bags, especially this, uh, the top one, what we did is, as you can see here, there's an extent, there's an opening, another zipper. So these zippers can be used two ways. The first thing is, it was designed so as foreigners, because, you know, foreigning is now in, uh, you know, everybody, you know, a lot of people want to foil, uh, except me. Uh, so, uh, so it's easy to, um, to carry your four kites, uh, mast, and wing and board okay so again if you're a foiler okay and you're racing all that so it's very easy in the top bag you can put uh, uh, five to four four kites okay uh, and then also on the side you have compartments for your bars you can put your bars or if you want more stuff there's also on top another zipper that you open and you can put a few stuff a wetsuit or whatever okay um, but then the good thing is a wing okay the wing uh, you can take, I recommend take the wing with you in the airline because you, you don't know how the airlines treat your bags, okay? But what I did is, with that other extension here, there's a tongue that comes out which is padded, okay? So there you can use your wing. So because if you put the wing inside, wings, this is like 40, uh, it's 47 centimeters in width, okay? So the wing won't fit, it's what's gonna happen. So when you open this, there's a tongue that comes out, it's very padded. So what I do is, for example, I take the wing, which as you see here, okay, it's already in the bag, protected, but then I wrap a wetsuit or some other thing, and when I put it inside, it's already protected, okay? So this will fit inside the bag with the extension, okay? Now, if uh, you don't want to put the wing there, then on this extension, you can put other stuff, you know, bars, or it's a special compartment, very nice, hidden, okay? So. This is where uh, my four kites, everything will go. And then on the mother bag, I can put the board. You know, I can put the, uh, uh, for example, Cameron's Camet board fits inside no problem because it's uh, less than 150 centimeters. But now if I use uh, this board, okay, uh, the Delta board, then this one is, it's long. So it won't fit inside. So I need the extension. So what I do is I open the extension here, the zipper, and then I make, uh, open the thumb and put the board in. Um, and same thing with a surfboard. If I want to bring my twin tip boards, uh, 120 board and a surfboard, same thing. I can put kites here or just my board here and a few kites and then on the mother bag, a uh, few more kites and a surfboard, okay, and a twin tip. But always, you know, I use also a padded, as you can see here, the surfboard inside, but I use the bag padded. But I open the extension of the mother bag to put my surf bag my surfboard inside so it doesn't get uh, broken and all that so always pad it okay so you have different ways of packing your uh, transporter go back to big three okay it all depends uh, where you're going uh, what uh, actually what condition you're gonna kite the size of kites you're gonna take and all that but actually me personally with this transporter go back to three I can pack five to six inflatable kites um, two twin tips, okay, uh, four bars, a pump, a harness, and a surfboard, okay. So I'm mm, at the limit of the weight there, okay. But uh, this is what I will pack when I travel, okay, um, depending also. But uh, if I go to a place that there's no uh, no surf and all that, then I'm not going to take my surfboard. So what I'll do is I'm gonna, just going to be, you know, I'm going to take five to six inflatable kites, uh, my two twin tips, uh, you know, and, and that's it. So there I'm actually in the, you know, the perfect weight limit of the airlines. Now, if you want to go uh, twin tip and if the wind really dies and you want to go falling, that's easy, same thing, you know, you take, uh, uh, let's say, uh, you know, three uh, inflatable kites and maybe two, four kites, a twin tip that you're gonna put here and then you fall board and mask and everything, you're gonna put on the bottom uh, of the mother bag and then you can put the extension if your board is uh, big so again you have so many ways to pack uh, these kites uh, in these in the new transporter golf bag v3 so hopefully these uh, bags will help you reach your destination and have an epic time see you in the water